Tennessee 38, Florida 33. And, geez, uh, boy, the Vols really wanted to make this one a ball game, didn't they? Uh, Florida, you know, they, they went up uh, 38 to, I want to say, 21. Uh, I, I tried to watch the majority of this one. Um, Anthony Richardson, by the way. Here, let's pull up these stats. 24 out of 44 for 453 yards with two touchdowns and one pick. Like He had not thrown a single passing touchdown all year. And then he comes in and throws 453 yards. Uh, he ran 17 times for 62 yards and two touchdowns. Like he He took over the game on offense for the Gators. I mean, it was just... Uh, it was it was not expected. I will say that it was definitely not expected uh, what he ended up putting up. But this was this was such a strange game. Yeah, thirty eight to twenty one. But then Florida marches right back down the field in ten plays, seventy eight yards in three minutes. Tennessee turns the ball over on downs. Florida comes back, scores another touchdown, seven plays, seventy one yards in less than a minute, and they get the ball back, like on an onside kick with seventeen seconds left. And they're down at the Tennessee 39 with a chance to win the game. Like, who could have possibly seen that coming? Uh, the stats would have not told you that this would have been likely uh, at all, at, at least the raw stats on the season. But Billy Napier, uh, props to him for having a plan in place to be able to combat this. I thought that they were going to slow this thing down. Like, I thought they were going to do everything that they could to slow it down. And and they really did in the first half, Right. Uh, because they, I mean, it was 17-14 to 14 at the half, and that was only because Tennessee scored at the very end of the half. Um, but when you look at it, I mean, as far as team stats go, yeah, Florida held on to the ball for 35 minutes. Uh, they they ran pretty well 42 times here. Uh, but Tennessee did the same thing. They were just a lot faster, a lot faster. This was, this was a strange game. I mean, Florida outgained Tennessee 594 to 576. <laughs> <laughs> just just bonkers. Tennessee, a lot of uh, standard down uh, success, especially since they only had nine third downs on the day. Uh, Florida was seven out of 15 on third down. I mean, just, just crazy. So I think actually in this game, uh, both teams come out feeling pretty good. And, and you guys that are in the chat, of course, I mean, jump in with stuff that I have missed. I mean, like I said, I, I did not get to see everything live yesterday. Um, but I wish I had because, my gosh, I, I watched the end of this game. Uh, and I watched the majority of it live. But some of these other ones, I, I will not have. So, uh, but yeah, props to Florida, props to Tennessee. Florida, I know, is 2-2. Two and two, But your losses are to Kentucky and Tennessee. Those are those are rough. Florida's had a really difficult schedule uh, outside of USF, which I mean they made difficult on themselves. But regardless, uh, in Tennessee, I mean you're sitting at four and zero. You got LSU, you got Alabama coming up. Anything's possible, right? It's the the KG thing. Anything is possible. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.